last time on Michael's father, not Michael's father. My dad said, I'm not your real father, and that's the truth. I murder your real father with a bit of cotton. <laughs> but if you tell anyone, I shall kill you and leave you by the side of the road. Do you understand? It's time for revenge. Later that day, we went to this cafe, and I had a little to eat. I had plums and chips. The plums was huge. My murderer dad said, anyone want any afters? And we looked to see what there was. There was plum pie. Don't like that. There was plum roly-poly. Don't like that. What do you want then? My murderer dad said, I said, I want you to keel over and die, you murderer. And then I ran and ran and jumped into our news station. And I broadcast that my dad killed my real father. And it was broadcast to the whole world. And there's my murderer dad and he's roaring. Would you believe it, the little pig? God, when I get inside, oh, he's going to die. And that's when I get into really big trouble. So now the continuation. When we left off, I was in really big trouble because I broadcast to the world that my dad is a murderer and he had told me not to tell anyone. I'm on the 10th floor of the news station and the front door is locked, but we'll just break it down and murder the security guards, which means I've got big bother. He's gonna bust into the room and find me here and kill me, probably with a bit of cotton. So I looked out the window and that's when my brain started doing things. You know, crazy escape plans and stuff. It was really high and I was scared to jump out. It was then I heard my murderer dad roaring. He was right outside the door. I had no choice, so I ran and ran and jumped out the window. I was falling really fast, and I was going to bang against the ground and die, perhaps. Then I had an idea. I began blowing to towards the ground, <laughs> and it slowed me down, so I added safely. <laughs> I thought I was safe, but I noticed my murderer dad, he's doing the same, blowing too slow, he's four. Oh no! I dashed off faster than an electronic rabbit. My murderer dad, he doesn't stop, he chases me, and it goes on for ages. Would you believe for three hours he chases me, and all the time everyone is not taking any notice. Maybe they saw all those new clips off me and thought... You see that bloke over there? Him. Michael Rosen. He's into mad dog stuff. I ran and ran, but then I tripped. Slam! My murderer dad catches up with me. Suddenly he looks pleased, and he has a bit of cotton. It was about to do something horrible to me, but then he stops. I look round and saw someone. Hmm. He was watching us. It was then I noticed it was... My real father? Blimey.